Valerie here. It's um, Valerie Ling coming to you today with a slight fire in my belly. I think it's potentially going to be um, a feisty, uh, a feisty live today. It's Valerie Ling here um, in my active wear because I have discovered that if I actually get dressed in active wear, there is a higher likelihood that I will actually follow through with my exercise at the point where I'm supposed to do my exercise. It kind of cuts out the getting changed into your clo active wear clothes as the simplify um, method to get exercise done. Anyway, a little bit of a fire in my belly today um, with this uh, video podcast, depending on where you're catching me today. And that is my Apple Watch allowing a call to come in. Sorry, I'm going to need to do my live. So I was doing some journaling today. I've been um, reflecting on a bunch of things. Uh, <clears throat> I had this uh, amazing opportunity where I signed up with the Simon Sinek people, the author of Why Simon Sinek did not take my session. Um, it was an associate, but nevertheless, uh, that plus being in a think tank environment with some other people have really got me thinking about this thing about saying no. So this is a three part video with three vignettes um, that hopefully one or all of it will, um, will, will, will have a relevant message to you. The first thing is about saying no. The first thing is about saying no. Um, you will know that I will often say that you need to know uh, what you're going to say yes to so that you can say no to. And in one of the think tank environments that I have been in, I loved that the person said no is a complete sentence. No is a complete sentence. You don't have to justify, you don't have to rationalize, you don't have to explain. When you need to say no, you say no. So I've been journaling on my top priorities. Uh, you know, what are the things that I definitely want to say yes to? And um, it, it was no surprise that family featured really highly there um, and, you know, a few other things were like, I definitely will say yes to this no matter what. This is the yes. Everything else is periphery. But the thing is, it takes a lot of courage to be able to say no then to other things, right? Because we worry about whether people are going to <clears throat> judge us, be disappointed, um, whether we're going to, um, you know, let people down. And one of the things I've been thinking about is that we always have a choice. Um, we think that we have no choice and we've got to say yes to things. But the thing is, we do have choice and we can have the courage to actually basically say, based on the number of things that I've had a chance to reflect on and based on the priorities and you know the top things that are meaningful, um, I'm actually going to say no to this. The second um, thing is that uh, it takes courage and clarity to say not yet. Last night, my daughter randomly came to the room where um, my, hu my husband and I were at and said, Mom, I just had the most random thought. Once upon a time, I was in you. I was in you, Mom. I was in you. I'm like, well, yes, you were, <laughs> I suppose. From her perspective, she has no reality of that. That's just a story she knows that she was in me, whereas I have the reality of carrying her for nine months, nine months. And so she had this random thought that, you know, I was in you for nine months and I'm like, oh yeah, baby, you were in me for nine, nine months and boy, do I know it. Um, that particular pregnancy, um, had some complications and so for nine months it was this gestation period actually of not really knowing if um, she was going to be okay and thankfully she is and it occurred to me this morning as i was journaling there are some things that are really worth saying not yet to um now this is where uh the 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 metaphor of pregnancy doesn't quite work because Pregnancies don't always go according to plan. Sometimes babies will come out early and sometimes sad things happen during pregnancies. But this idea that there is <clears throat> there is wisdom when you have clarity, that there are some things that we want to say, no, I'm not going to rush it. Um, not yet. I'm not ready. Or the project requires some time because it's worth it, right? So when you're caring, um, you know, a pregnancy through, to, uh, you, you do want the pregnancy to go to its full term for all kinds of reasons. 
and the reality is probably only shared by you in totality. Uh, not everybody is going to understand why you may not want to venture into Project X or why you're thinking um, decision Y needs to take a little bit of time. So, you know, really take some clarity. You, you need to, we need to have that, that time and that space to, to bunk it down and say, well, there are a few steps, right? Is there a change management process to look at? How is it going to impact everybody else? Do we have the resources right now to do that? Is it even something that we're sure that we want to go ahead on? And very often, I think, at least for me, I don't know about you, I'd love to hear what you think. Um, where everybody else seems like, oh, you have to do this. This is like, you've got to do this. This project means so much or this decision must be made. I've got to know the answer today because I've got to give that other person that answer. And really, when you look at it, it's like, well, really? What would actually happen if we push the pause button and said not yet? Because surely things of worth, things that are um, <clears throat> of significance and consequence, surely those things take time. Surely they take time. I'd be willing to rush into a purchase of my tolerance level has gone up a little bit. Um, there's a certain numerical number that I would have no problems making a purchase if that was the amount of investment. But something at $100,000, totally different ballgame, right? So it takes courage and conviction, to, um, courage and clarity. And, and sometimes we've got to give ourselves that time to say not yet. And even to say, I don't know. Um, many people are asking me, what am I going to do next year? And the honest to goodness truth is, I don't know. I do know I will still lead my practice. I do know that I will still be very, very involved in being available to my team because <clears throat> they're important to me and I'm invested in the work that they do. But beyond that, I actually really don't know. I don't know. And so it's, it's okay to say not yet. Now, the third one, this is probably where the fire in the belly is going to come to. It takes courage, clarity, and conviction to say, not ever, not ever, not on my watch, not if I can help it, not in this reality, buddy. Uh, <clears throat> the story behind this is I've been engaged in a situation where I was actually really impressed by the way um, the person who was handling the situation was handling it because they were clearly being very protective and being an advocate and saying, no way, this is not happening, right? Um, and it comes also for me being um, in this environment where the, the good folk of Simon Sinek people, not Simon, but his associate, challenged me that <clears throat> if this is my why, and you, you come up with a bunch of why statements and... Um, some of those statements for myself were a surprise. Um, one of them was for me that it's really, really important um, that we protect the right of people to say they don't know, right? That the intellectual humility, um, so respect and humility, uh, they, they are important values for me, um, particularly intellectual humility. I, I think it's, you know, it's, it's a top value for me. Just because you can, just because you know, just because you have the capacity doesn't mean that you have to do it, nor do you have to, um, <clears throat> you know, uh, impose it on other people. So it's a, it's a high value for me. It's, you know, the, the, it's the sort of people I like to work with. And so um, the person who was taking me through this process, well, now that you've identified it, Valerie, that is not, there is not a situation where you can back down from not protecting people's right to say, I don't know, or that they have a different view. I'm like, mm, that's a little confronting, never. I can never back away, sis. You can never back away. Because this is an all or nothing statement. Your why statements are all or nothing. <clears throat> if you truly believe that this is your purpose and this is your place to hold the space and hold the line of saying not ever not yet we don't put people down we don't you know we don't rain on their ideas we don't criticize other disciplines we don't think that we know better than other people when you know if you strongly believe that that is important for x y and z reasons you will never be able to and you should never be, should never <laughs> walk away from the opportunity to stand up against that. Then I wanted to retract my why statement because <laughs> that's just a little scary. Never, come on, never. 
Um, I seriously wanted to retract that why statement. Um, but how can you do it? You can't retract the why statement. Um, the way that they do it, it comes from really mining through um, all of this rich history and information about yourself to that is your why statement or one of for me anyway. <clears throat> so I therefore realized that um, when I was seeing this in motion this week, um, how much comfort and 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 joy and admiration and security i got from being able to see other people basically saying no not ever so you know that takes a great degree of conviction you have to know what you stand for and sometimes i think in this day and age we don't know what we stand for and we're afraid to figure out what we stand for um <clears throat> we, we want to be able to say that there are some things that are non-negotiable there are some things that are so critically important to us that it takes courage it takes clarity and it takes conviction and and find people who will stand with you and not just leave you and you're like oh my gosh where'd they all go they dissolved and disappeared into the shadows at the minute i made this stand find people whom you know will stand with you test it out don't assume um, that people are seeing the same things that you are seeing um, communicate 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 so yes the different levels of no um, and when you see it in action with other people you know it might make us feel uncomfortable however done right with grace and with a degree of maturity always with you know, maturity uh, there might be some very good reasons for what's going on underneath the no statements love to know your thoughts